All right, for our next story, I wanted to go over an Electronic Frontier Foundation article written by Cory Doctorow. Yes, Cory Doctorow is one of my favorite uh, copyright advocates. And this is about the EU directives, Article 11 and 13, which are up for debate. They're pretty terrible, according to Cory Doctorow. Article 11 is the link tax. Online services are banned from allowing links to news services unless they get a license that uh, to make the links to the news. The rule does not define news service or link, leaving 28 member states up to their own definitions and leaving it to everyone else to figure out how to comply with the 28 different rules. Under Article 13, what he's calling the censorship machine, anyone who allows users to communicate in public by posting audio, video, stills, code, or anything that might be copyrighted, must send those posts to a copyright enforcement algorithm. The algorithm will compare it to all other known copyrighted works and censor it if it seems to be a match. This is, as as proposed, if those things are really that broad, that's horrible. That's horrifying. We already have. We just opened the show today talking about copyright censorship in Bach music because someone had performed their own um, performance of of box sheet music and somehow that got copyrighted for overlapping with a performance of the box sheet music that Sony owned. So that shouldn't be a thing. How is the algorithm going to tell my piano, which is a perfectly licensed uh, piano and all that, like obviously my piano here, switch uh, to cam six, my piano here on the, on the right here is, or, or left is, um, uses uses samples and those samples are properly licensed by Roland so I have no copyright issues but what if someone uses the same piano to play the same piece now the copyright content ID thing will overlap what if we both played the piece exactly the same way I'm allowed to copyright and 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 monetize my performance and they're allowed to copyright and monetize their performance. But what if one of us got to it first, submitted it to the content ID system, and it said the other guy can't post his performance? Now he's got to jump through hours worth of hoops to get it all figured out? I don't think so. That sounds like a really, really uh, slippery slope to me. It's going to get bad pretty quick. Everyone's going to have to fight it. This becomes the same outcome. Everyone has to fight it. If the guy plays Bach and he gets his claim, he's got to fight that claim tooth and nail. If everybody fights it, these companies will learn that they have to comply with the law. If no one ever fights it, th then nothing happens. They just continue to take advantage of people. It can't be... This is the this is the fight for the cause versus fight for the the client kind of thing that us lawyers talk about. It's easy to sit on the sidelines and and say everybody's got to do this. It is hard to be the one. It is hard for the guy who played Bach and got his thing copyright struck, copy struck. It's hard for him to go to court and pay for that and do it. It's it's easy for the big company Sony to just claim it because they have control of the content system. It's not going to change until more people fight back. That's, it's, I'm not, it, that's the problem. That's the access to justice problem. That's a thing we're constantly talking about in the law is how do you protect people? Thoughts about the link tax and censorship machines, uh, uh, guys? Well, coming from knowing a bit about the EU, I still think it's too early to tell. Because yes, it will go up in debate this week, but that's only to give the go ahead for the EU uh, to talk to the 28 different states to then come up with these laws. So we're still quite far away from having actually specific laws telling us how this is going to work. So it's not zero hour yet. We're not, the bombs haven't dropped and, and the world hasn't come to an end yet. It's far from it. Like it got rejected at first because it was just badly written. So they're now going to have a discussion about what they want the general idea to be. And then they will vote to give permission for the... I'm not quite sure off the top of my head which commission is in charge of this, but the commission then goes to every 28 nations to speak to the head of the state, so Theresa May in the UK, etc., etc., to talk how it's going to affect the current laws and how they want changes in it. And then it will once again come back to the EU Parliament to actually 
come up and start to write a proper legislative for it. So it's still it's still in a very early process okay. to really panic about it. It is the good step at the moment to start lobbying. So to start writing to your M MEPs to lobby uh, your government in how you want to see this law take form and what should be taken into consideration. Yeah, maybe go to the EFF's website to that link. Uh, September 5th, Cory Doctorow, it's about uh, the EU directives. I'm sure you'll be able to find it on their site, or I posted a link in chat. I share that around, just so so this is the time to raise awareness, is what I'm hearing. Yes, yeah, so to quickly quote my MP, what he wrote on his blog, after this discussion, and if it goes ahead, the Legal Affairs Committee is now going into negotiation with the Council, formed by representative of all 20 member state government, to find a compromise that works for everyone. Once this compromise has been reached, it comes to it back to the European Parliament, where we vote in favour or reject it. It's not good enough. Okay. Well, then I'll yeah. um, then I'll write it down. My panic. Go ahead. <laughs> I also wanted to clarify a little bit about that linking tax that I believe one of the key issues is on a number of platforms when you provide a link they will embed a preview and that that preview might contain an image it might contain the first couple sentences which are copyrighted and so it's the act of having that preview um, or that embedding that you are displaying something copyrighted without permission and you have to get a license to be able to to show that preview and i believe that's one of the issues another is um if you have a news service that um that takes the majority of the article and and then posts that as part of the news service and then provides a link you're getting the the information without actually going to the original website and then that is frowned upon if i read the um if i read the act correctly i admit to a to only a, a bare understanding of how the european union works mostly i'm applying concepts of federalism you know multiple member states and trying to understand how are they all related to the the federal uh EU whatever a entity. And that's our show, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. This is a community supported channel. Thank you very much for your support on patreon.com slash LJ French. We have a number of excellent supporters here in the month of September. Thank you very much to Jonathan Doe, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Andy, Kyle Mudrock, Vera Mintane, Sean McNamara, William Gonzalez, Michael Pierce, Grunkle Tia Marie, Terry Crisp, Richard Fournier, and Michael Jones. And thank you to the many, the 200 plus, $5 plus supporters that are scrolling on the LED panel behind me. And I will find room for everyone on the crawl at the end of the videos that drop this week. Hey. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Go boy. Go boy. Say hi to the people. Both dogs. Ilsa. Ilsa, hello. Can you come up too? Go girl. Go girl. Don't hump her. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.